Thank you for joining me here again at Lulu's Story Review. Today we have Foodie Surprise. This is a brand new toy. It is a mini collectible food cart where you can make your own DIY yummy gummy treats. We will be unboxing our food cart, mixing and creating, and then you can eat now or take on the go. There are four different food categories. We have ice cream, pizza, sushi, and bubble tea. And for each food category, there are two variations, so there are eight total you can collect. If we look at the back of the box, it says, What's in your food cart? Create yummy, gummy sweets and delicious treats with Foodie Surprise, the world's first candy collectible brands. Each Foodie Surprise mystery food card contains the magic ingredients needed for making your own custom candy creations, plus an adorable collectible character for taking your gummies on the go. And on the last side we have nutrition facts because there are food products in here and also a best buy date. So let's go ahead and get this open and see what's inside. So guys, we got the sushi cart and it looks really, really cute. So it's a big sushi roll or actually kind of a big block of rice uh, with a fish on top if you want to get technical about it. So it's sushi and it looks like it's held on with this tape. So I think this would be our collectible character. Okay, so let's start with Mr. Fishy. Um, I do think it's kind of strange that the sushi has a face where the fish was cut in half because a fish would have had a real face. <laughs> so I don't know, I just find that strange. So it's a red fish with a yellow face smiling. I guess he's happy he was cut apart. And then inside, you can open it up to store your gummies. And it looks like there's a hole where you can attach it to the top of the food cart, like so. And the food cart is white rice. It has a purple wrapper around it. There are these pink chopsticks, which look like they come off. I wonder if that's to mix our candy. And then the bottom of the cart is blue with pink wheels. There are two headlights on the front and another little sushi face. And this side looks much the same. So let's see, how do we open this? Okay, so also there is a door that opens, but it doesn't look like it actually opens into the cart. I guess that is where the sushi truck would serve the food out of. So let's see. Oh, okay. So the bottom pops open. And inside we have this plastic tray. Okay, and I see now. So the cart itself opens like this. And in this side of the cart we have a little cover. So here's a little card. It says, what's in your food cart? Foodie fun for everything. And inside we have a measuring cup, a pipette, a stirring stick, and some molds. And there's also a blind bag here. Okay, so inside the blind bag, there are two packets of powder. On the other side of the truck, we have another card, and it is the same one as the last one. And there's another blind bag on that side, and in this one, there are quite a lot of bags of powder. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here are some stickers for the food carts. And here is our checklist. So it looks like we have this one here, the blue one. 
And these, I assume, are the different friend containers that you can get. I actually do not see our fish on here. Unless these are a different toy that haven't come out yet. Guess we'll have to find out. And here are the instructions. So these are for the sticker placement, which I think we could probably figure out without instructions. And here are the instructions for the candies. So it says, wash hands before making, use clean room temperature water, clean mixing tools between steps. So there's a recipe for red gummy fish, black gummy fish, green gummy fish, row bath, not sure what that means, uh, instructions for the rice, the gummy seaweed, more row, wasabi, and decorate. So let me get some water and I guess we'll see if we can figure this out. Okay guys, so I read the instructions or <laughs> looked at them because there's nothing to read. I do think they could have put a little bit more information into these. So I'm going to try doing the red gummy fish, the black gummy fish, the gummy seaweed, and the rice so that we can make a full sushi roll. And it says to pour water to the first fill line, mix in the powder, but they don't say whether to use the whole bag and then you wait 10 seconds and pour it into the mold. It also doesn't say how long to wait after you pour it in the mold until you can get it out, so I guess we'll have to eyeball that. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so let's get started. We'll start with the red gummy fish. Um, hi there. Uh, I heard you were making candy, and I don't know if you know this, but that is my specialty. My name's Lolita Pops, like lollipops, and I live for candy, so I was hoping I could help. Well, of course. I don't see why that would be a problem. You can help. I would love your help. <laughs> awesome. I was really, really hoping you would say that. Okay, guys, so let's start with the red gummy. And it says to first fill the cup to the fill line. Oh, so that's a little too much. So that looks about right. And then we open our gummy and we'll pour that right in. Okay, then it says to stir. And that's what it looks like there. Well, can I help stir? Of course. Yep, I think that's all stirred in. Looking good. Okay, so they said to wait 10 seconds, and then we can pour it into our molds. So we'll use this tentacle, and it also said to use one of these. So we'll put half in this mold, and then the other half can go in this mold. And those are the full molds. And why don't we sit these in the carts, and we'll put that back there. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up the black gummy and the seaweed, and I'll be right back. Okay, so guys, I filled the black molds and the seaweed molds. I think I messed the seaweed up because I didn't clean out the mixing cup when I was doing the black, and I had a little black left over that I poured in there. So hopefully those don't turn out too badly. Oh no, I think they look good. These are going to be so yummy. <laughs> well, thanks, Lolita. So now we have to move on to the rice. So we're going to do the same thing, which is to fill this to the first line. And then we are going to mix some of this powder in. And I'm not sure if we're supposed to mix the whole bag in, because this is a lot bigger of a bag than the gummies were. Let's do half and see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, it is still watery, so I guess we do need more. I guess we'll just go for it, because we can always add a pinch of water if needed. So that's the whole entire bag in there. And let's stir it up. Okay, it's getting very thick. Okay, guys, so that's the consistency we have. And they say to then use your hands to roll this into balls. So I'm going to just put down the checklist so I don't ruin my work area. And we'll take a little bit and roll it into a ball. And it is very sticky like rice would be. So there's one ball. I think we can make two. And I guess if this were too sticky, like how it's sticking to my hands, you could probably add a tiny bit of flour to make it less sticky. 
But here are our two rice balls. And in a few moments, we can go ahead and unmold the gummy candy and put it all together. Oh wow, everything looks super, super yummy so far. I can't wait till we put it together. So guys, I think these are done. They're still a little bit sticky. Let's take a look. Yeah, they're a little bit sticky, but we could probably demold them. However, the seaweed that I made I think I may have used the wrong powder, and the powders are not labeled, so you don't know which ones are for the roll bath and which ones are for the gummy. So I think I used the wrong powder, and that's why it's still very liquidy. So I'm going to go ahead and call this a fail and <laughs> move along without the seaweed wraps. So we did the red ones first, so let's demold those first. <laughs> okay, it is... Oh, we broke in. Oh no. Okay, so this one's not looking too hot. This one's a little bit more solid. And actually, let's go ahead, because these are sticky. Oh, stick into the paper. Let's go ahead and put them right in our container. So obviously the point of these is so you can make each piece of the sushi roll and then roll it together so it looks like real sushi. I unfortunately am not great at making candy, so <laughs> that's not what ours are going to be. But if you're good at stuff like this, I'm sure yours may turn out better and you could actually make a full sushi roll. I don't know if we didn't let these set enough, but they're very sticky still, and they're sticking to my hands. And that is one problem, that the directions don't tell you how long to leave them sit. So you're kind of playing that part by ear. In any case, I did try some of the gummy candy when I was cleaning out the gummy that was stuck to the water cup and it does taste really good so I guess if you let these sit longer than I did or maybe are a little better at making candy you would get some really good tasting candy. Oh it tastes good to me too. Uh, it doesn't look good but it does taste good. Well thank you Lolita and thank you so much for your help today. Oh anytime. You know if there's food or candy, I will be there. So guys, there's one thing we have left to do, which is to decorate our food truck. So here are the stickers we got. And it looks like one of these and one of these go on the outer doors. So we'll stick that one there. And that one there. And then when we open the doors, we'll put the last one here. And there is our finished food cart. I forgot to show you guys that the fish did come with a ball chain so that you can put your gummy candy inside and hook it to your bag or your lunchbox. There is a hole on the bottom, so you'd want to be careful that nothing gets in there to contaminate your candy, and also that none of your candy falls out. But other than that, this is really cute. I love how the food truck looks. Hi there, can I have one avocado roll, one sweet potato roll, and also some fried rice, please? Thank you! <laughs> And I would agree, these food trucks are really cute and they are perfect size to play with your shoppies. So guys, all in all, I really do like this toy. I love the idea of it that everything is contained in the food truck to make your own candy and even to store it and take it with you. I think kids will love this. Hopefully they're a little more competent than I was in making their candy and hopefully it turns out better looking than this. But I do think that the directions could have been more clear when it comes to how much of everything to add, which bags to use, and how long to wait before unmolding your candy. So guys, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you feel inclined, and have a great day. Bye. Well, Lolita, when did you get a food truck? 
Oh, this? I just got it. I'm embracing my entrepreneurial spirit. I want to be an independent businesswoman, a real boss shoppy. Oh, well, that sounds wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, me too. Really happy for you. But, um, I thought you don't even like fish. Oh, yeah, well, it's not real fish. It's sushi gummy fish. So, it's a candy truck. Well, no, it's, it's sushi, but it's yummy gummy candies. So, it's a candy truck. Um, yeah, I, I guess you could say that. It's a candy truck. Well, in any case, it looks awesome. When do you open? Oh, well, first I have to make all the candy. Do you guys want to help? Oh, of course we'll help. We love candy. Yeah, for sure. I prefer cake, but candy's okay. Well, let's get started. Awesome. Thanks, guys.